It's Christmas Eve, and this is Business Incorporated. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chimizi Obi Iwagu. Today on the show, African Securities Exchanges Association identifies high cost of listing and poor corporate governance as part of the factors hindering small and medium enterprises from listing. First Quantum Minerals plans 2,500 layoffs in Zambia over tax hikes. Plus, Kenya's city of Mombasa receives over 1,000 tourists this Christmas, boosting the tourism sector. Well, we'll start off with the markets, and um, most major markets across the globe are trading in a shortened session as all is set for the Christmas holiday. However, here in Africa, markets are traded normal with the JSC index up 1.27% at intraday. Egypt was down 1.45%. The Nigeria Stock Exchange's All Share Index was also up at intraday. Well, let's um, cross over now to the Stock Exchange. I'm bringing Temple Ashaju there to tell us what the mood has been like in the market this Christmas Eve. Hello, Temple. Good afternoon. Well, Temple is not ready yet to talk to us. We'll get back to him on that. Um, but let's look at what's happening in the Middle East. Most GOP stock markets um, moved a little at intraday, and Saudi Arabian banking shares were largely stable after some dropped on the previous day in response to news of a deal with tax authorities. Two blue chips dragged Dubai's market down sharply. The Saudi index was up 0.45%, while RIG Bank Flat and Samba Financial Group adding 0.5%. Five bank stocks were higher, two lower, and the rest flat. Saudi banks agreed with Islamic tax authorities to resolve a dispute over increased liabilities that will result in one-off payments, although many banks had already made provisions for much of the liabilities. Qatar's index was up 0.34%, although Qatar Commercial Bank fell 1.9%. The Dubai index tumbled 0.74% to a five-year low as Emma Properties lost 1.9% and Emirates, the top bank, fell 4.5% in very thin trade. Abu Dhabi was flat. All right, let's now go back and cross over to the Nigerian Stock Exchanges Temple is now set to talk to us. Hello, Temple. Well, a lot of markets across um, the globe seem to be trading half day today, but it's not the same at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. So how merry is the Christmas for stocks this Christmas Eve? We saw the index up 0.24% at midday. Hello. Yeah. It's really positive, uh, Chimeze. Uh, right now, the market is around 1.15%, uh, yes. that, and that's the trend that it has. we've been seeing all day since the market opened at 9.30 a.m. local time here in Lagos, uh, the Nigerian Stock Exchange. We've seen uh, bumper movement in terms of volume of shares that have been traded. Value has also been very, very positive, really impressive. This speaks to the uh, sort of the uh, Santa Claus rally that a lot of analysts have projected that is common with this market historically at this season and this looks like this is going to be the trend till the end of the year if the uh, offshore investors do not set in to come and take profit and pull down the market as we speak the all share index has moved from the 30,000 psychological line that it's closed at on Friday and opened at this uh, Monday morning to 31,153 uh, or thereabout, and it is still rising. Uh, so we've seen about 28, uh, 283 million units of uh, shares traded so far, valued at about um, 3 billion naira, and it continues to rise. We've got some movement in, uh, in the likes of uh, bellwethers like uh, Dangota Cement, which has been up, which has done some 7.6 million units of its shares. Uh, all day, are rising about 2% as we speak in terms of share price. Look at Forte Oil as well. Forte Oil, the moment the market opened at 9.30 local time, it rose about 8%. And as we speak, it's around 9.84%. It also looks to be on bid as we speak. Now, a lot of other stocks are currently on bid. Look at the banking names, where you have the likes of Diamond Bank. Of course, we know the story that has been trailing Diamond Bank as a result of the mergers between that bank and Access Bank. Bank. Now, Diamond Bank has been on bid for a while. It's currently at 10% in terms of share price movement. UACN has surprisingly joined.
join um, in the, the stocks that are also doing well right now, up some 9.09%. And all of these movements in uh, this, this companies that we've seen has also translated to positive uh, indices for all of their subsectors. If you look at the oil and gas segment, for example, Forte Oil, which has done some 9.84%, is currently up some 0.88%, and I think is, around, is, going, is getting close to 1% right now. Now, the banking se segment of the market has also been positive. That has also done by uh, some 0.1% in its, 0.81%, uh, I beg your pardon, in its movement. Consumer goods segment of the market is also positive. Consumer goods is up some 0.05%, and that looks to be growing as well. Now, the industrial goods segment was earlier down some 0.34%. But suddenly we saw a positive movement in the share price of Dangota Cement, and that has now changed the game for that sector. Now, WAPCO, which is also doing a rise issue, is also going to be contributing massively to the movement that we will see at the end of the day in the industrial goods segment. We also know that CCNN recently project, uh, uh, released its uh, Q3 uh, data that's talking about the results for the Q3 2018. And that was also positive. And at the end of the day, just the same way the week closed positive for the industrial goods com companies, that's how this is probably going to close, uh, or possibly going to close. And that trend is going to continue. Let's look at the top trades of the market, where we've seen name insurance doing uh, the, 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 the most. It's, up, uh, it's done some 138 million units so far. Uh, Medview Air is also surprisingly on the top trades charts right now. 54 million units of that company has been traded. We don't know what is responsible for that. If it is the Santa Claus rally as well, which we yet to know. Transcor, Guarantee Trust Bank, and Dangota Cement. These are the companies that we've seen so far doing some huge million units of shares today in the markets, Chimese. Well, from what you said, traders believe that um, perhaps this um, Santa Claus visit to the market today is going to be sustained till the end of the year. Now, have you spoken to them? Did they tell you what their major uh, stock picks are? For you know, for the rest of the year, what are their what are their advice on uh, what um, investors or the stock investors should be uh, looking at as the year wraps up? I think the advice had come in way before now. Came in uh, at, at about uh, November and uh, late November to early December when we saw a lot of investors that took position, bought huge millions of shares. I know of a couple of investors, retail investors now, that had even had to go and you know, uh, borrow and then to invest in the market because they are usually they're so kind of sure of the kind of returns that they will get when they invest at this point in time. Now, why is this? Because we know, as we've, as we've discussed it several times on this particular show, Chimeze, that it, companies really want to close their books positive. They want to settle some of their debts. We know that once it is getting to the uh, uh, late November and, of course, first, of, uh, first to second week of December, a lot of companies really tell you, look, we are closing our books. We need to close positive. We need to end the year positive. We don't want to, we don't want to uh, be too involved in credit. If you, if you have a lot of uh, 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 customers or clients, that are owing, they want to, you know, quickly uh, deal with all of that and ensure that they recover to close the year positive, except for the ones that are structured to be able to dovetail into the next year. So this is the trend that has left, le led to what we're seeing in the market right now. Traditionally, this is what the market is known for. And at this point in time, you will then see a lot of the uh, uh, investors that are taking position way before now, trying to exit the market gradually, except for a few uh, systemic companies or systemic stocks that they may want to leave um, their, 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 their portfolio on. Uh, talk about the likes of Diamond Bank, which already has, uh, which is uh, uh, to be acquired or merged with Access Bank, and has its um, AG, an extraordinary general meeting, scheduled for the 1st of February 2019. So you want to hold such stocks to see how the performance of the markets will help you eventually. Again, they are going to be carrying out a rights issue of 75 billion naira, so they can sort out some of the uh, uh, obligations that, are, that, are, that, that that company has and, and settle the debts of the company. So these are sort of the stocks that you will want to hold. Unity Bank also held its, its um, uh, AGM uh, sometimes last week. Now you want to hold on to Unity Bank as well because of the 
um, uh, systemic position that it holds in the market right now. We're yet to hear from the uh, management and the board of the company so they can then say that this was the conclusion of the resolutions that were put out to shareholders last week uh, uh, in our quiet bomb state where the AGM held. We haven't seen that, we haven't read of such a notice from the stock exchange. And, but we know that with the kind of movements we are seeing right now in the market, it looks like that is going to be positive. Uh, there's something positive coming on board. We know that United Bank has been talking about some investors coming in to help show up its capital to meet its, um, uh, uh, its obligations, especially with the Central Bank of Nigeria when it comes to uh, uh, the, the whole uh, regulatory headwinds that they need to meet with. Now, so these are, these are the kind of stocks that you will want to hold beyond this point in time. But we know that a lot of uh, retail investors are currently looking at the kind of appreciation, share price appreciation that they've seen. If it is in their favor enough, they want to sell at this point in time. But that sell, sell side, cannot be seen as outweighing the buy pressure, the buy side of the market as we speak, Chimizu. Now, do you think the agitation of the upcoming election is still felt in the market? Well, that may concern the foreign investors. They are the ones that may want to, uh, you know, of course, the way they've been ex making exit from the market for some time now, that's the kind of trends that we'll read concerning their interest in this market. But when you look at the speculative investors who are taking position at this point in time, they are the ones that this kind of uh, trend really uh, matches with. Uh, so for the electioneering season, if you also factor in the fact that uh, these speculative investors have the, uh, the, that in their mind, then you can tell that the reason why they are selling right now is also as a result of the election. Era. However, that puts a uh, kind of two-pronged um, uh, uh, sentiment to a lot of investors in the markets. That's the election area now. Election exercise, because we know that the offshore investors have already uh, taken flight from the market, even though we know that they're still coming, setting once in a while, to still move out gradually. We know that it offers low price in the market and when prices are really low especially on stocks with fundamentals you know that local uh, investors really want to take advantage of that and if that is is a trend to actually uh, bring the local investors back into the market after we see this uh, sort of rally that is projected uh, toward the end of the year then we will also see the numbers changing by the time uh, the festive period is over. And of course, when, when you then see, that's when we'll now start talking about uh, the January effects. You want to see a bit of sell down. That will be for some of the uh, uh, shareholders or investors that are looking at uh, holding right now till that period. They were hoping that this, uh, the effect of this rally that is anticipated or that has uh, possibly set in now will last long till that period. They then want to sell down to go for, uh, to sort out school fees. All right, they want Temple. to sell down to then sort out rent and a couple of other demands, domestic okay. demands that you need to meet. All right, Temple. Well, the market is closed tomorrow and next. So I say Merry Christmas. Our European shares opened lower today following a session of heavy selling side last week. The pan-European stock 600 sank 0.4% during morning trade, with almost all sectors and major bosses in the red looking at individual stocks. Now, in corporate news, BMW was hit by the South Korean government with a 11.2 billion won fine and faces a complaint over allegedly delaying recalls and concealing defects that resulted in engine fires in the country. Thin volumes are likely to dampen trading activity, with markets set to close early ahead of Christmas holiday. The FTSE 100 will close, or well, it's already closed, 12.30 p.m., while other European markets, of course, closed at 1 p.m. London time. And uh, market players are mostly focused on lingering fears of a slowdown in global economic growth. And um, the Asian stocks were mixed today after last week's market turmoil stateside. South Korea's Kospi slipped 0.31%, despite industry heavyweight Samsung Electronics and chip maker SK Hynix gaining 0.39% and 0.67% each. Australia's ASS 200, which closed early ahead of the upcoming Christmas holiday, finished the trading day higher by 0.48%. The Japanese market were closed for a public holiday. Uh, the Shanghai Composite recovered from earlier losses to finish around 0.43%. Hong Kong's Hansen Index also closed at midday.
uh, ahead of the upcoming Christmas holiday. Well, we'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll continue with the program. Do stay with us. 